<clears throat> Good evening. Welcome to Bnei Jeshurun's beautiful sanctuary in New York City and to our program, Songs of Sweetness and Sorrow. As we mark the transition from Yom Hazikaron, Israel Memorial Day, to Yom Ha'atzma'ut, Israel's Independence Day, we will take a journey through some of the music that defined the fiercely intense evolution of the state of Israel and its culture. A young country with an extraordinarily diverse population needed uniting. Many of Israel's greatest songs came to symbolize more than just good music, and many of its outstanding performers, lyricists, and composers became cultural icons. Some of the songs that you'll hear tonight resulted from a successful conscious effort to develop a new and unique sound, one that would blend European harmonic complexity with Middle Eastern flavors. Other songs were inspired by popular music from the US, France, Brazil, and other places from around the world. My name is Ronald Gottman. I will be your host tonight. With us is Mal Maya Lachiani, the first Israeli singer to perform on the stage of the Metropolitan Opera. John Ellis on tenor saxophone, flute, and clarinet. Satoshi Takeshi on percussion. BJ's music director, guitarist Dan Nadel, produced this concert. Now, let us begin. Hayu Leilot, in the late 1930s, Tel Aviv's new satirical theater, Lechol Aruchot, was established. Its name in Hebrew means literally to all the winds, but can be more accurately tr translated as uh, to hell. The name was suggested by renowned poet Avraham Shlonsky, who explained, when people ask me whether I'm headed this evening, I'd like to answer to hell. This theater commissioned songwriters Yaakov, Orland, and Mordechai Zeira to compose songs for its programs. They were having trouble writing the last song, and less than 24 hours before opening night, they found themselves drinking heavily at a Tel Aviv bar. As the tale goes, the owner of the bar shoved them into a secluded room, brought them half a duck and a bottle of cognac, and ordered them to get to work. By morning, the song Hayu Leilot, There Were Nights, was finished. Popularized by some of Israeli's greatest singers, Esther Ofarim, Shoshana Damari, Hannah Rubina, and others, the poem describes the strong bond of love a woman has to a man, so much so that even when it is revealed he has died, she is unable to accept his passing and asks, do any of you know where he has gone to never return? Then we shall hear Ve'ulai. Arriving in Palestine in 1909, Rachel Blubstein decided to forego studies in art and philosophy and dedicated herself to farming and agriculture instead. Known later as Rachel the poet, or simply Rachel, her life was filled with love affairs that did not materialize as she'd hoped. At the age of 40, she contracted tuberculosis and was forced out of her home by the Kinneret, the Sea of Galilee. Her sorrow-filled life is expressed profoundly in her poetry. When she coupled her love of the land with her deep loneliness, and nowhere is her powerful voice more piercing than in her song Ve'ulai, and perhaps. And perhaps those events never occurred. Perhaps I never awoke at the break of dawn to toil in the garden. Had I never cleansed in the quiet blue and innocence of my Kinneret? Oh, my Kinneret, were you real or had I dreamed you? And now let's hear Ve'ulai Ve'hayuleilot. Oh, 
שלך על הגן, לעובדו בזיעת הפעם.
אני אותם זוכרת, והוא את העצים הגנאית. את השבילים בין דגניה לכינרת, כי רק אותי זכור So beautiful. Zemer Ahaval Ayam. In 1953, Tel Aviv's Kameri Theater put on a play called The Sea and Home about a squad of fishermen. The production was short-lived, but a song from it called Zemer Ahaval Ayam, a love song to the sea, became a hit in 1961. A later solo recording by the great Arik Einstein brought to light more of the text's introspection and the wave-like motion of its phrasing. Shir Eres. In 1965, the same Kameri Theater presented a musical called Esther Hamalka, Queen Esther. Loosely based on the biblical Purim story, this work was a collaboration between the great poet and playwright Nathan Alterman and brilliant composer Sasha Argov. While the production was panned by the critics, a lullaby song by the court gesture of King Ahasuerosh found its way to the nation's collective consciousness. Okay. 
Yad Anuga, born in Tsarist Russia, Zalman Shniu was the descendant of Rabbi Shniu Zalman Miladi, who had established the Chabad stream of Hasidism. A poet in Yiddish and Hebrew, he penned Yad Anuga, a delicate hand, in 1906. The sensual poem describes a young maiden and the man she ultimately gives her heart to. The most famous and often sung melody to his poem was one borrowed from a traditional Arab, probably Syrian song. This is just one example of how young Jews from Eastern Europe tried to develop a new culture by coupling poetry of the newly revived Hebrew language with the local sounds of the region. Yan Yad Anuga.
In 1975, singer Chava Alberstein released her album Kmo Tzemach Bar, Like a Wildflower. In the liner notes of the album's reissue, she wrote, This album was a process of purification of the will to turn the frustration, humiliation, grief, and pain that we all experienced after the 73 Yom Kippur War into something positive, to change, to hope. I felt the need to console, not to shout, not to blame. Um, the title track from the album was written by poet Rachel Shapira and composer Nahum Hayman. It describes the end of a passionate love affair, the bitterness of parting, and ultimately finding peace. I will be a fading shadow in your fields, a hidden secret, farewell. I lived among you like a wildflower. Ha-omnan. As the recording session of the album officially ended, Alberstein and her producer, Mati Kaspi, realized that they wanted to record one more song called Ha-omnan. Is it true? The lyrics by Lea Goldberg and music by Chaim Barkani. In her 1942 poem, as news of the terror in Europe reached her, Goldberg wrote of the yearning for innocence and simplicity while admitting that perhaps true safety was never there that the trauma once inflicted may never be gone, but that there is hope to heal. Throughout the poem, she used the feminist perspective and not the chauvinistic, nationalistic one used by Hebrew poets in Palestine at the time. And the drizzle will catch you in pounding raindrops folly on your shoulders, your breast, and your neck while your mind is refreshed. You will walk the wet field and the silence will fill you as does light in a dark cloud's rim. Now we shall hear Kmot Semach Bar and Ha'omnan. Come 
By 1980, Shalom Hanoch had created seemingly organically something which was hard to imagine before him. Authentic rock and roll in Hebrew. From his early collaboration with Arik Einstein to his solo career, Hanoch's performance career was matched only by his daring statements about Israeli society and the direction the country was headed. Shir Lelo Hashem, Sheloshem, Shir Sheloshem, a song with no name, is his favorite of his own works. Its lyrics were inspired by the recent death of his nephew, Soldier, as well as the impending passing of singer Yehudit Ravitz's father. Ravitz recorded the song. Vidui, Vidui, Confession, was written by poet Alexander Penn in 1941, but was published just shortly before his death in 1970. It describes a tumultuous and abusive affair in a woman's voice, her confession that her lover's humiliating words and actions, infidelity, and even her certainty that her death will come at his hands would not make her change a thing about their relationship. Composer Sasha Argov wrote an appropriately drama-filled melody and haunting harmonies to this song, and vocalist Yehudi Ravitz recorded its most unforgettable rendition in 1984. We'll hear Shir Leloshem and Vidui. Oh, 
לקחת את ידי בידך. Late 1970s mark a period of Israeli obsession with the music of Brazil. The samba, לקחת את ידי בידך, you took my hand in yours, with lyrics by Yaakov Rotblit and composed by Mati Kaspi, evokes biblical images of lovers in the garden. It is written in a woman's voice as she relives the budding of the love affair. Yehudi Dravitz recorded the song in 1979, and more than 40 years later, it is still covered by many contemporary Israeli artists. The song is also unique in that it coined the phrase, Dvarim sheroim misham lo roim mikan, things seen from there are not visible from here, which has become a colloquialism about a change in one's perspective. And now we'll hear, La Karta et Yadi Beyadcha. We will actually perform Vidui first, and then La Karta et Yadi Beyadcha. מעילי הפשוט ופנס על הגשר, ליל הסתיו ושפתי הלכות מני גשר. כך היית אותי ראשונה, התזכור, והיה לי ברור כמו שתיים ושתיים, כי אהיה בשבילך כמו לחם ומים. וכ אל מים ולחם אליי תחזות. בעוניינו המה בעבור עוד חזן. גם למוות אתה קיללתה לי לא פעם. וכתפי הקרות רעדו משמחה. כי היה לי ברור כמה שתיים ושתיים שיוביל אותך בגללי בנחושתיים וגם אז לבבי לא יעשו מעמך כן היה זה לא טוב, היה רע לתפארת אבל סחורך נפגשנו בליל מלילות אם יהיה זה שנית צוות באותה שמחה פשוטה משמאלות. אם יהיה זה שנית, אל יהיה זה אחרת. יהיה כך, כך יהיה עוד פעם. 
נעתי לך ובחושך ערבתי ושנאתי לך ואדם אהבתי וביתנו שמע מחיוך ומצחוק ובשובך אל הבית מרות כמו כלב אל בונות של זרים בלתך תגיעף ודע כי חשבת עליי מרחוק ובלילה הוא את איתך והלכת לעד ואני נושאת ילד רק חשך אור עינייך ליבי לא נשבע כי היה לי ברור כמו שתיים ושתיים שתשוב עוד אליי ותיפול על ברכיים ואני בפניך אביט ואומר כן היה זה לא טוב היה רע לתפארת אבל סבורך נפגש בליל מיילות אם יהיה זה שנית אל יהיה זה אחרת רק אותה ואוניה בסוערת באותו מיון עם אותו ציצה לקחת את ידי בידך ואמרת לי בואי נרד אל הגן לקחת את ידי בידך ואמרת לי דברים שרואים שם לא רואים מכאן ניגנת לי שיר על הגיטרה וכל חרד רוח בכמה רוח שרה והזמן כאילו עמד Deep in the key of dark 
דברים שרואים משם לא רואים מכאן ודברים שרואים משם לא רואים מכאן לא רואים מכאן דברים שרואים משם לא רואים מכאן That was wonderful. Hashir Al Aretz, 1984, playwright Yehoshua Sobol and musician Yoni Rechter collaborated to compose a song, Hashir Al Aretz, the land's song. Sobol was by then a successful, controversial figure for his irreverent and piercing focus on the developing Israeli religious military complex. Rechter had been a member of Kaveret, the most successful band in Israeli history, and himself responsible for some of the most memorable songs in modern Israeli music. Mary Feinstein, I hope you're watching from Los Angeles. I sent you the link. He was the drummer of Kaveret. The light-hearted and jazzy tones of the song, as recorded by Nurit Galron, belie the poet's disturbing words about the past and the direction society is taking. Where is that land which was termed tiny? Where is that love that rolled in the sand? Anarchists walk the roads wearing nothing but robes, and the fire in their head is burning everything. Ein li eretz acheret. On January 13, 2021, Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives Nancy Pelosi read these words in reaction to the January 6th insurrection, crediting Israeli poet Ehud Manor. I can't keep silent in the light of how my country has changed her face. Won't quit. Won't quit trying to remind her in her ears I'll sing my cries until she opens her eyes. I can't keep silent on how my country has changed her face. This quote was a translation from the song Ein Li Eres Acheret, I Have No Other Country, written in 1986. Its text was a reaction to Manor's loss of his younger brother in the First Lebanon War. Singer-songwriter Corinna Al composed the music and ironically, the song was henceforth adopted as an anthem of sorts by many opposing factions in Israeli politics. And now we shall hear Ashir al Aretz, Ein Li Eretz Acheret. נשיר את השיר הצהוב של החול. יחפנים מתהלכים לאורכה ולרוחמה של הארץ, ועושים איתה אהבה אנשים פוקי אור. איפה הארץ ההיא שקראו לה? Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. 
מחפשים קרעים של ילדות. תנו לי לשיר את השיר החולה הקודח. מאוהב וזרוק אמיתי בלי זהות וזכויות. תנו לי לחזור בדרכים החולות אהבה. לחזור ללכת יחף על שברי זכוכיות. תנו לי לשוב אל אותה פינה נידחת. איפה אותם החיים עם שמחת הפשטות? תנו לי מילים עזובות, מנגינה נשכחת. יוצאים מבין הקוצים קרעים של ילדות. בואו נשאיר את השיר המטורף של הארץ. בואו נשאיר את השיר הצהוב של החול. יחפנים מתהלכים לאוקה ולרוחבה של הארץ, ועושים איתה אהבה אנשים פה
עד שתחדש ימיה, עד שתפקח את עיניה. The sound of that saxophone in this acoustic is really something. <laughs> Blues Kna'ani. Ehud Banai is a child of Israeli great family of entertainers who trace their ancestry to Persia, the Banais. After the passing of fellow singer-songwriter Meir Ariel, Banai wrote Blues Kna'ani, Canaanite Blues, describing the intimate friendship they never had, about the times they said they would spend together but never did. In an interview, Banai recalled they'd meet each other randomly as they were exiting and getting on stage. Banai's song is not just a conversation with the late Mayor Ariel, but a masterful work of poetry in which he conveys Ariel's timeless rootedness in the land and how deeply his voice is missed. Geshem. Mayor Banai, Ehud Banai's cousin, was 27 when he recorded his second and most successful album, Geshem, Rain. Years later, he'd incorporate more facets of Jewish religion into his life and music, but the album's songs were a form of secular prayer filled with deep, honest, often painful introspection. The title song from the album is a call for rain, for purification and rejuvenation, and also for being truly seen. Meir Banai died of cancer in 2017 at the age of 55. Blues Kna'anani, Yes, sir. Meaz shazavta Harbei shtana kan Zehu zman shigaon ובכל רגע חדש, פורענות לא עלינו, והכל חי ברשת, הכל מתפוצץ. ובאופק אחר, על אותו דף גמרא, יושבים כל הלילה. אתה ואני, שלוות עולמים, פרדס חנה כרכור, אקליפטוס ברוח, שורק בלוז כנעני. החושך גובר כאן, האור שלך מאיר עדיין זוהר. זה סיבוב הופעות מקומי, אתה יודע. אותו שיר כאב הולך וחוזר. ובאופק אחר סביב שולחן השבת יושבים כולם יחד גם אתה ואני שלוות עולמים פרדס חנה כרכור אקליפטוס בודד שורק בלוז כנעני זה עולם אלקטרוני קצת קשה לדבר ומילים כמו שלך אף אחד לא אומר כבר 
הנר שלך מאיר עדיין בוער ובאופק חדש אחרי הופעה נעביר בסיבוב זר קוצים ריחני שלוות עולמים פרדס חנה כפוך אקליפטוס ענק שורק בלוז גנני Oh, 
אני צועק בכל שיסתכלו This is it. Thank you for joining us this evening. Once again, I want to say thank you, Maya, John, Satoshi, Dan, Yeshikor, to all. We also want to thank Dimitrios Hatsitsavas, our sound engineer, David Christenberry and Justin Goodman for tech support, setup, and video operation, BJ Cantor, David Mintz, Kristen Kersey, and Rabbi Shuri Passov for logistics coordination. I'm Ron Gottman. Good night. Laila Tov. <laughs>